So just to give you a brief idea, uh, this is a cyber security career pathway which I borrowed from uh, NASCOM, that is the uh, NASCOM DSCI. DSCI is basically the Data Security Council of India. They have uh, a program for skill building for cyber security skills. And this is what their um, cyber security career pathway they had built across. So if you notice below in the lowermost uh, uh, row, they, these are the common fields which are there. You talk about network security, application security, endpoint, IT assurance, IT forensics, incident management, security operations, BCP, DR, and finally, uh, industrial control systems or ICS and SCADA, which is also gaining a lot of importance. So when you uh, intend to move across in your uh, domain, then at the middle level, you will obviously go towards higher areas like being a security analyst, a threat analyst, uh, then towards an architect role, specifically towards an architect in application security, network security, identity and access management, privacy lead. Privacy is one big area which is coming up. And that means with both GDPR and also India's data protection bill, as well as uh, various regulations across um, the world, privacy is also one uh, hot area of security which straddles both security and legal and compliance. Then at the almost the senior level, you have director appointments, service delivery leads, head of GRC, head of incident response, head of security operations. And top, at the top level, you'll, you can could be a consulting partner in a, a big four or a various other consulting organizations. And also uh, the global head of a shared security services company, uh, something like in India, you have TCS, uh, you have um, uh, Mindtree, you have uh, Infosys, and also uh, the industry organizations where you have CISOs and chief, and chief privacy officers and chief risk officers. This is just a general pathway which I have uh, suggested, which you could have. So I uh, just wanted to give you a pathway around this. Also, um, if you consider uh, various aspects, you can obviously understand uh, various un uh, aspects of how you could progress on these skills. So my next slide is is a cyber career map from uh, Gary Hayslip. I have shared the link also and I can uh, think, I, I, you may not be able to see it very clearly, but uh, it shows uh, as to which of the various areas in talk about. If I talk about, let's say information security, it lists down the various certifications which you, you can do in information security with the top one being CISSP. In, on the left side, you have security engineer, a, a wherein you have the fields of audit and risk management you have the field of uh, net, network security where you have, for, sorry, security engineer, where you have forensics, penetration testing, application security and hacking, then ICS and SCADA. And on the right side, you have a network engineer where you could talk about network hardware, training system engineers, cloud, storage, and virtualization. So these cover the, all the domains and along with them are listed various security certifications you could achieve. So I am not saying I have done all of them and you could do all of them, but uh, depending on your career choice, you could actually pick up certifications and move across them. In the center, you also have various professional education. That means it would be preferable to have a BTEC in information systems. Obviously it's not a must then MS. And obviously if you, as you grow up and understand the business sides and MBA could also be helpful. And for uh, understanding and executing big projects, you could do a project management, and this thing. And obviously uh, the specific course like uh, Stanford course uh, covers quite, quite a few of these domains. So that means you are in the right hands and uh, the great learning has put together a wonderful program for this. Yeah, thank you very much.